welcome back. Um, I've got the oops, camera just wants to move. I've got all my deer. I spray painted them, and I've done the sleigh as well. So I was doing it in the rose gold, and then I was almost done, and I ran out of rose gold. So I set that aside, and I found I had some the rose copper, and I really like the way the rose copper is making all these deer look. Can't quite see on there, my lighting in here is a little off for some reason. But this is the one that wasn't, this one here is the one I had before and it was actually gold and you can still see, I ran out of spray paint so it was two cans of spray paint, they were both about half a can. So I ran out so I didn't get to see even here, I didn't even get quite to the bottoms and underneath there's some, you can still see the clear in here and on this metal one here I have you can still really see the the gold but that's okay because I can either you know I can spray paint it next year when I get if I decide to have this out again or I might change the color and just spray paint them a totally new color next year depending on what color scheme I want to go with but I really like how this one the gold has it in spots where the gold really shows up in other places it's not so bright and not so shiny but I really liked how the rose gold and then spraying over top with the rose copper really changed how they looked. And even the sleigh, I was trying not to get the material because it was a nice beigey and it was really shimmery. But when I was spray painting and trying to film and spray paint at the same time, when I tipped the sleigh over, my, the bag I had taped came undone and all the paint was settled on the bag, went all over this whole thing. And so I thought, oh, I'll just see what it looks like spray painted. I'm glad I did. I really like the way it has turned out because it was a very, very bright, bright gold and glittery. So the, you can still see all the glitter in there and there are sparks in here. It's like a wicker pattern so you can still see some of the gold shimmering through. So I like that but I like the color that it's... I like this color. So I've got... I'm just going to move these nine deer over here. And then what I have for this was I got these trees that I had bought at a secondhand store. I paid one or two dollars each. I got these two. And they are glass. And they got this textured and this textured thing in there like a rose gold color. And I really like how they are just sitting up on the shelf beside me, but they're right beside the deer and I really like how they complement each other. You know, there's the the sleigh like inside it's almost a perfect match for the color. So I'm going to use these trees in my display that I'm going to make. So I'm going to set those aside. So I was trying to find for how big the deer are because there will be the sleigh plus the nine deer. So I needed to find a piece of board. I went to the up to my garage. My husband keeps lots of scrap boards. So I got this piece. It's um measure is like 27 by 14 inches. So I think it's the inside of an old dresser drawer. I've already removed the extra staples and I've sanded around the edges so I won't uh, cut myself. What I said I'm going to do is I'm going to coat it so it's going to be a little loud. But I'm going to coat it with the uh, tin foil. So let me angle this down. So I'm just going to cover this board with the tin foil. I'm just going to hot glue the tin foil in place. It's hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm just going to hot glue the tin foil in place doesn't have to be very good. I'll probably just end up taking this tin foil off and using this board for a different display. mostly just sticks to itself anyway so that's okay if it's not fully glued in place. It's mostly if it's just overlapping, just trying to cover this board. 
and it's going to be on the table so the table itself will help hold the tin foil down anyways. Okay, so I got that all covered. Let's flip this over. Now I've decided that I want to make it look like a winter picture, like a winter scene. So I've got this. This is uh, one of those car chamois. I've already cut the stitched edge off. I'm just going to fold it in half, kind of, approximately in half. And these are not good scissors. There. These are my material cutting scissors, my sewing scissors. Yeah, these ones, yeah, that works so much better. I'm going to have one of these on one side over here and one of these on the other side over here kind of look like snow. I know it's not quite, I've got space here, it's hard for you to see. Let's see if I can back the camera up. Let's see if I can back my camera up if you can see a little bit better, but see if it goes from one edge to the other, it doesn't quite fit. See if I move it to this edge, you can see that there's quite a big gap here. I do have another chunk of this, another one of these uh, things, car chamois that I was using for another product I was making. So I'm just going to cut wrong scissors. I'm going to keep grabbing the wrong scissors and it takes longer to, to get the project done. Okay. Just going to quickly just cut the stitched edge off. It just, just cut it. Just can get this to cut through here. And if I just cut the, the stitched edge off, it just makes it so much easier. And then I don't have to worry about trying to hide that finished edge because I want it to look like, you know, nice, soft, fluffy snow piled up on either side of the deer and the sleigh. this. I'm just going to roughly fold this in half and just kind of cut it into roughly cut it in half. So it'll look like snow banks piled up. Out. I'll kind of just have it draped down. I'm not going to glue this down. I'm just trying to make it look like snow drifts sitting here and the deer just kind of going through the snow. It's, I'm not quite sure how I want to finish this off, but I just want to know approximately how big this is to make the snow, um, snow banks kind of thing. So I can see how wide, you know, if I put the sleigh here, how much room I need. And if I line up the deer beside each other, I see, you know, about how wide to make the path for them. If I like this snow idea, I'm not quite sure. So I also have is these um, glitter gravel that I had. Hey, sorry about that. My camera just turned off and it just took a few minutes to get it to starting to record again. Okay, so I said I was doing this and I've got these two things of the gravel, it's metallic grass gravel. This one is the glitter gravel. This one's kind of like a, it's hard to see, but I'm just going to move the camera down a little again so you can see what I'm doing. It's hard to see the colors, but this one's kind of like a really, it's like a gray color. And then I've got this other one here and this, it's like more like a, more of a purpley pink color. So what I think I'm going to do is just lay these down. Let's move this so you can see. Move this white material off. What I think I might do is just take these two jars of this glitter. Well, this glitter gravel or metallic glass gravel, whatever it's called. They both seem to have a different name. And I'd probably just lay these down so the 
deer and the sleigh can stand on the, the gravel as a nice path. So I'm just going to figure out what kind, uh, what kind of a path I want for the deer. So I'm just going to lay the deer out and figure out you know, the spacing of the deer to make sure that my board is actually long enough to, for the nine reindeer to go across. Gonna move the gravel out of the way because the deer doesn't want to stand on the gravel. So I'll be gluing the deer in place and I'll be gluing the gravel in place as well. And I've got some other decorations for I'm going to be putting on here. Oops, there's a lot of deer. Let's see. I'm just moving more of this gravel out of the way. I'm just going to set these so they're. So the ones at the back and the ones at the front, you can see between them and you can see all the reindeer. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's the other two? Oh, there's this big one. I'm go here. And I got the other one to go here. So it's not going to quite work. Okay, so I'm going to have to move this sleigh a little more this way because they don't quite fit. So I guess this is... It's 27 inches long, so you can see how what big the sleigh is and how big all these deer are. How much room it's really going to take up to get them to go across this board. I'm just going to spread them out a little more. Just gonna got lots of board to work with, so I'm just going to spread them all out so I can get this last reindeer to come here. Now, when I get this all laid out, I'll move the camera angle so you can see exactly how big this this is. But I think I like it like that. Now, I wasn't too sure if I really like this snow on here. I thought it was an interesting idea but I don't think I'm gonna like it. I think I really like the the gravel instead and I have other little um, I don't know where they are other jars of the different like the vase fillers that I can probably use to help line the path as well. So I'm not going to be using, oops, sorry, I'm not going to be using the, the car chamois as snow. It was an idea I had, but now I'm seeing how this goes. I also said I'm going to have these trees here. I'm going to be putting in, like, in to help fill up spaces. And I got all these other florals that are all the same colors. I've got like, these big poinsettias, and then I got some other smaller poinsettias. But they're all in the same colors. And I got this little one here. It's the little, um, got some fruit and some berries in here. And they're all the same colors. So I'm going to be putting these around as well. So I don't think I need the white. Let's see, there's a few more of the different poinsettias, different colors. They're all the, the pinks and, and grays. And we got the gold in them. So they're all going to look good. I also have a couple of these picks that look like this. Oops. You got the green, this one's the green grassy stuff when it's got some little red berries. And then I got this other one and it's just different textures of the different green leaves and the more of this grassy stuff with the green berries. I might put those in here as well. I'm not quite sure about these ones, but for sure I like the, the pink and gold ones. I'm just going to move these glass trees out of the way so I don't knock them over. But yeah, I'm just going to uh, move the camera up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to move the deer off of here. I'm going to lift, I'm going to pour the gravel that I dumped out. I'm just going to get that moved out of the way. And then I'm going to do the placement of the sleigh and the placement of the, the, uh, the other deer where I want them. So then the eight deer will be be between them. So I will be right back as soon as I get that all set up. Okay, I think I've got it set up. So I've got the sleigh up in this top corner up here and I've got the Rudolph down in this corner. Now for Rudolph, I'm going to find my little pom-poms and I'm going to put a little red pom-pom on his nose. Just not sure where the pom-poms are at the moment. But when I put the glitter and I these glitter things, I really like the way the two have mixed. So I'm going to pour them into this container here. Just going to mix the two colors up. These I got at Dollarama. They were two dollars each. I'm just going to mix the gravel up to get the mix of the two colors. One looks more like a, 
a bronzy gray and the other one is like a muted purple or pink and I'm gonna I know kind of where I want the deer so I know the sleigh is going to be here and this deer is going to be over here and the other deer are going to be right through the center here so I'm just going to grab my bottle of Mod Podge and I'm just going to pour a nice path of Mod Podge down and I'm going to pour the glitter down on top of the Mod Podge. I'm just going to move the, the sleigh and the deer again. I'm just going to have to find where the paintbrushes went. Uh, that's all skinny ones. Oh, where did I put? Uh, I'm not sure where the paintbrush went. I have one out because I was doing Mod Podge the other day. I don't know where I put it. I just bought a new pack of paintbrushes and I've already lost them before I even opened them. That's okay, I guess. Just gonna see. No, it's not sitting here. Okay, so not behind me. Uh, that's okay. I guess I'll just open up this pack here. I find this one the larger larger brush. Just so I have something just to spread the Mod Podge with. Okay, so I'm just going to have the Mod Podge go from this corner all the way up to here. This is just to help spread it. Make a nice path. Just make a nice path for the deer to go across. foam brushes often but I also bought a pack of them too and I just don't see them so I'm still in the process of moving um, my craft room up here so I still have a lot of stuff down downstairs in the storage room See, if I had my thicker paintbrush, it would go so much faster, but this is okay. I just need a nice, just need nice to spread it quickly, just so, so I get a nice path of where the reindeer are going to be. totally changed my ideas on this. It's probably going to be another day or two before I even get to the finished product. But that's okay. It's, it's fun to craft and make crafts that last a few days. It takes a few days to make. I'm going to sprinkle this uh, I don't know, glitter gravel, glass gravel, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to sprinkle this down on top of the Mod Podge. And then I'm just going to have to wait and give this a few hours to dry. And then I will go over it with more Mod Podge. But I'm really liking the way this path is looking now. have to sweep my floor because stepping on this is like stepping on chunks of glass and I'm just dropping them all over the floor. Okay, I'm gonna get right to the edge here. I'm just gonna add some more of this and some more of the gray. Just 
together and just add more. Just fill in all the spots where I see the Mod Podge showing. crafting is you, you have an idea of you're looking at all your supplies and you have an idea of what you want to do and then as you're going through you just see oh you don't like something or it's not going to look the way you thought it would look and then you have another idea and just you know can't tell you a number of times my ideas and plans change even halfway through so many things about this project have totally changed from the first time I thought of doing this with the painting the deer the color I wanted and running out and then trying not to paint the the fabric on the sleigh to I was going to make it look like the deer were in uh, snow piles and then I changed my mind on that and changed my mind on how I want to make build this pathway for them I'm changing the whole size of this based on the size of the board I found because I was just going to do a small one I was thinking of like not 27 inches uh, long I was looking at something trying to how can I make it in about 10 inches but these deer are bigger than I thought they would be when you put them all side by side and my sleigh is a lot bigger than I thought it was too okay so I'm just gonna push this all this gravel into the Mod Podge now I'm just going to leave this to dry for a few hours and I guess I'll have to uh, come back while this is all drying. I'm just going to move some of these pieces here just to get it, just kind of cleaning up the pathway a little bit. I'm just gonna have to wait till everything is dry, or wait till the Mod Podge is dry to do anything else. But I think while I'm waiting, because I can't glue down the deer and the sleigh yet, but I think I might start to figure out the placement for these flowers and figure out which ones I like and which ones I don't like. Like I don't think I'm gonna go with the leaves on them because I just there's no there's no other green. I don't know if it would look right. So I'm just gonna go and cut off all my florals all apart so this one here and I let's see put the sleigh I'm just gonna set the sleigh here let's see if I just put the florals yeah maybe I'll just put the florals in the sleigh because I don't seem to have Santa or an angel that that will I've got ones that fit in here but not with these colors so maybe I'll do a, just a floral arrangement with the deer this off the stem. Let's see. No. Hair cutter. I have a nice pair of wire cutters I bought. They broke, so I've got these other big ones that my husband brought me. He wasn't using, so. about as long, the wire cutters are about as long as my arm. So I'm just going to see how this is going to look if I just put this um, this piece of fruit and stuff in, in, the, in the sleigh. I think I'm going to like that. And I got like, these ones here. I put a big one over here and this other big one over here. I'm just going to have to fluff these out. I'm just going to be playing around and figuring out how I think I'm going to lay out the florals. So I've got to get fixed. They were all in a bag. So you know, I, buy them at, I don't buy too many florals brand new. I usually buy mine at 
secondhand stores or garage sales, so they'll just stuff them all in a little Ziploc bag, and, and they're all kind of, you know, squished together, and you just have to kind of just play around and get the leaves and flower petals and stuff just to go the direction that you want them to go into. Same with this one. I don't think I'm going to use this leaf. I don't think it's going to match anything, but I really like the colors of these poinsettias. They're going to look really good with the color of the gravel and the color of the deer and the sleigh. I'm just going to play around and figure out how to fill in all this. Yeah, see these ones, I think I might just take the flowers completely off the stems and just lay them around. Just kind of line the pathway with the poinsettias like that. I'll pick up some more of those. Like that. And I've got another one of these ones. I'm going to put it here. I'll put this one here. And just take that off that stem. I'll put this one over here. And I've got one more of those. Let's see. Let's see. I'll put this one up here. And so I have these two green or these two glass trees. Put one over here. And I really like to have the idea of having them close to the sleigh like that. I think that's what I'll probably do, something like this. Um, I will angle the camera down one second. I'm just going to put the deer, you know, they may not want to stand because okay, i got to answer the phone. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, just had to go quickly answer the phone. So like I said, I know the Mod Podge isn't dry and I'm going to like to put a second coat of Mod Podge on here to seal it, but I just want to just do a quick placement of the deer and just make sure I do have this path is good um, width to, for the deer to be. Um, but of course, I move the deer way across the table. So now I gotta reach across the table to bring them back closer to me so I can get them on here. But I'm really liking the way this is looking. I might just, right now with the Mod Podge still wet, I might just grab the um, craft stick and move the Mod Podge and the gravel out of the way of where the hooves would go and just glue the deer down in place right now and I might and I think I'm just gonna like the way the flowers are placed I might just decide to just right now glue everything down in place get that deer line up I really like the way this is looking so I think I'm this is how I'm gonna have it set up I'm just gonna pause for one quick second just going to move the camera down here so you can get a good view of the way it looks from my angle. And then, okay, just leave those for a minute. And then I will, yeah, just move, um, take the, every single one of the deer and the sleigh and I'm going to hot glue them down in place right now with the, mo with the Mod Podge still wet. And I'm just going to hot glue all the florals down. Really like the way it looks. That way it can all be finished and it can all dry. I don't think I need to put Mod Podge over top of the glitter to or over top of the gravel to seal it. This is one of those pieces that it's just a decoration just for winter. So I you know I mean if I tip it up and if any uh, I've got my spray glue. That's what I was gonna say. I have my spray my can of spray glue so I will probably just spray the gravel down as well to help uh, seal it in place. So let me just move the camera so you can see from my angle and then I'm just going to start to hot glue everything in place. Okay so this is what it looks like from my angle. See there's the sleigh and then there's all nine reindeer and I really really like the contrast of everything. I like how I've got it all set up. So now I'm just going to put the camera back on its stand and I'm just going to start to hot glue everything in place. I don't think I need to add anything or adjust anything. So just give me another minute and I will be right back. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to start hot gluing. I'm just going to start with this reindeer here at this end. Like I said, this will be Rudolph, and I know he needs his pom-pom nose. Um, I don't think this glue gun is working very good for me tonight, but I'll try. I'm going to press it down in place. No, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to get the other, plug my other glue gun in. Just take a second here. Wait for this one to heat up. Oops. I'm just going to grab this cross stick down here. I'm just going to move the glue out from where I know the deer's feet are going to be glued to. Just so then this one right where they're going to be glued to, just so I can. It's hard to glue with the gravel in the way. Just kind of set them down in the Mod Podge. So they're kind of. That one, I know right where those ones go. need to know approximately where the feet are going to sit. This one's a little flatter for it to sit down on. These walls out of the way as well. So I'm move these glass trees out of the way. Don't want to break those. See, this glue gun should be heated up good now. Maybe not. Okay, now it's starting to work. There they all go. <laughs> okay, I guess maybe I'm just going to pause while I do this because it's going to take me a little bit because um, glue gun is still not quite heating up as good as it should be. And it just knocked the ones I just glued in place. I'll be back when I get them all the deer glued. Okay, I've got the deer all glued down and I've got the sleigh glued down and I'm just going to start to glue the florals where I thought they would look good. Let's see, oh, there's one more here.
those all glued in place. I got the deer glued in place. So I'm just gonna glue this one here into the sleigh. Glue guns are just not working good tonight, but that's okay. If they come apart, I can always just reinforce with more glue later. I just want to get this project done. I can get this put out on my uh, living room table somewhere. Not sure which. This one over here. Glue sticks just don't want to go through all the way. These glue sticks don't want to fit in this glue gun. And I've got one more tree, so I'm gonna glue this one over on this side, and then. One over on this side right here. And then, like I said, I've got more of this gravel. And I'm just going to mix the last little bit of the gravel together. I'm just going to sprinkle it on to fill in any gaps around the deer. And anywhere else where I think there's gaps in. I'm not too worried if this gravel falls anywhere. I've got older kids and if you had little kids for sure you'd want it to be glued down. But I'm just gonna get I'm gonna let this Mod Podge dry and then I'm gonna spray it with my clear adhesive spray. Just trying to get around the reindeer poop so you don't see so much. There's a few places where I had to use extra hot glue just to get them to stay because they're just, they just seem to be, a couple of them just seem to be, you know, like top heavy and they just want to fall more forward. Some want to fall to the side. So I'm just going to get the gravel, put it in there, under where the glues are. Is too. So I will go out and I will get my spray glue, and I'm not so worried about you know, this loose gravel because I'm gonna be. I will do something here. I will be putting this on like, my coffee table in the great room. It doesn't really get used too much, and nobody touches. Nobody really touches too much stuff at my house anymore. So I can just... Uh, I've got bowls in the other room that are just shallow little bowls, just full of loose gravel and loose sand, and they seem to be okay. Like I said, I got the first little layer of it glued down, and then this is all just sprinkled in on top, and we'll see what happens when I use the um, spray and see if it prevents it from going everywhere. I can see little um, glue gun strings in a few places, so I'll have to get those gone shortly. Now I'm still debating whether or not I wanted to put some of this greenery in here. I might put a few pieces because there is a few spots in between the, tr the plants that are kind of don't have anything. Now again, I bought these from this little pick here from a local thrift store for I think it was 50 cents maybe a dollar so at that price I don't care if I cut this all up and do each one of these little branches it's by itself if I can figure out where they and then also with this one here again this I got from a, from a local secondhand store as well uh, yeah, I'm just going to take it apart and just, just going to 
me these, oh, just kind of figure out where I think I'd like to put them. So I think it does need some greenery in here to kind of fill up some of these spaces. So I'm just going to take this one apart. Let's take this all apart and see how many little pieces we can get. And fan them all up. I'm just going to fan this little grass stuff all out. Yeah, like that. And I'm just going to prune this down. I don't need all of that. Let me just set this one. I'm going to pick this one up. I'm just going to tuck this under here. Just kind of have it sitting under there and just kind of there. Oh, I'm liking how that green really adds to it. So I'm going to take this one here and I'm just going to fan, going to fan this one out as well. greenery over on this side. I kind of like how the greenery just kind of goes over top of the flowers. I have, I'm not going to glue the greenery down, pieces down quite yet. I'm just going to figure out where I like them. If I need to, if I'm going to separate them anymore. But yeah, this one here, I think I'm going to cut each one of these green pieces off and just glue each, place each one separate. Just do one little green piece everywhere. See, they kind of just want to fall apart. So I'm just going to stick these, stick some up in here and, and just stick some of these with these red berries. Stick some up here. I'm just going to. Yeah, these are all just falling apart, so I'm just going to snip all these apart and just start placing these wherever they think they will fit and wherever they will look good. See, as more I just fan this out, as I fan this out, they just, well, they were sliding, okay, there, see, they just kind of slide right off and I'm just going to loosely set them here and there and just have fun decorating with the fun decorating with the last little bit of my green bit of my greenery I've got and I'm gonna place this in my living room where I think or my great room on the coffee table where I think I'm gonna want it to where I think I'm gonna want to have it placed for now and and I will be back when I have it in when I've got it totally finished and I've got it in my living room on the coffee table so it'll just be a few more moments. Okay, thank you. Okay, I've got my display set up in my uh, great room on the coffee table here. You can see there's all the deer and the florals and the sleigh. I really like the way this turned out. Now I had one deer that fell when I was moving it. So I think I'm going to just let this, let the Mod Podge dry overnight. And like I said, then I will spray it with um, my spray glue. But if any more deer fall over, I might just have to go and get like my E6000 or super glue or something just to reinforce them. But yeah, I really like the way it looks. Just too bad my camera is just the way the light is in my house right now. It just... The colors don't look the way they look in person. I will do a video maybe tomorrow in the daylight. Maybe it will really, you know, they'll really glit glitter because you can really see all the little shimmering and all the deer, all the different colors that the deer have, especially this one because this was the one that was gold. And then I sprayed it with the rose gold and then over top with the copper rose. 
from a rose copper, whatever it's called. It says rose gold and rose copper. That's it. I'm just gonna keep getting their names names mixed up. But there it is. I'll do one more big pan so you can see like how big it is. It's on my coffee table. So the dimensions of the board I said was 27 inches by 14 inches. So it's a really big, you know, big um, Christmas display with the deer and the florals. Okay. Hey again, I just want to say uh, thank you for watching my tutorial on how I made my uh, sleigh and nine reindeer centerpiece. Uh, my name is Heather, and it's uh, made with love. Can't even think of my name on my channel. Um, yeah, again, I just want to say thank you, and please subscribe, and I'll get this, get all my other stuff I've been working on so hard, getting all my stuff I've been making, just getting them uh, all posted right away. So I'll probably be posting, like, probably back-to-back -back several videos. Oops, my camera is just... There we go. The camera just wants to tip sideways on me again. So, oh, there it goes. It just tipped over. I just want to say sorry about that and just thank everybody for watching and uh, hope you have, hope that I've inspired you to just look around your home and see what you have and how you can just cr create things that just fit for your home that show for your decor and your colors and your tastes. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.